Hi everyone, it's Lynn from Hey Lynn Vintage and I wanted to go over the items that I, I did pick up when we were at the bins. Um, so let's go through those in, those ingredients. I wanna, I'm back on Retro Cooking Wednesday. <laughs> Excuse me, let's go through those items. So uh, you've probably seen this in the haul video, the tiger rug. I did grab that. I mean, it doesn't weigh anything, and I have sold these before. So, yeah. Grab this guy. Feels like somebody had him hanging on his wall. He's got some tape on the back of him, but other than that. I did grab this rug for my bathroom. It was brand new with tags. It's a, you know, Ralph Lauren nice rug for the bathroom nice size like the color it's more of like a seafoam green gray kind of color and i have kind of grays and greens in my bathroom so hey why not at the bins it's only a couple bucks grab that guy i grabbed these super cool And I want to say these are the vellum um, little sh ah, chandelier. Oh my God, I can't talk today. Lamp shades. They are in great condition. There's like coming out here a little bit on this one. You know, I mean, but that's that's not too horrible to get fixed. Other than that, they are in really great shape. Yeah, I grabbed those. I grabbed this souvenir map of Scotland. One of the places on our bucket list. So maybe if we keep picking up items, we'll go. We won't have to buy souvenirs now. We already have them. But uh, yeah, so grab that guy. You know, I have a couple of those weaves, you know, that you make the pot holders with. I was gonna, you know, do that with Addie or something, maybe if we're camping. So they had this bag of the little bands for that and because they don't weigh anything. I grabbed those. There was some vintage ornaments, you know, bags that you're always looking through. So there's this little Santa, and there was this little Santa, and these were all Frank's Nursery, made in Taiwan. And then there was, somebody had cross-stitched these. So there's the Noel, there's another Noel, a little wreath, and a church. This is a whole bag of I think they're all the same. Um, no, they are different. So it's a whole bag of pins, but most of them look like they are the 9-11 fire department with the flag. There's 9-11 New York police. I'm wondering if there's anything else in here. Most of it is police and fire, 9-11, the whole bag. Like, there's quite, a, there's probably at least 20 of them in there. The only one, the one that's in here is, um, I love reading. I don't know, she's kind of cute though. 
Cereal. Oh, oh, she's silver. Nine twenty-five on the back of her. That's a cute little score. I don't think these are. These just say China on the back. Nine Eleven, New York. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all these just say China and really big big letters on the back but they're all still like in their packaging so I grabbed those um there was this whole bag of watch band for fit 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 bit versa 2 um or versa light watch broke but charger works so I mean there was all these bands in here and I have on a Versa 2. So, I mean, these all these bands. All different bands. I don't know if the... If they've all been worn. I'd have to, like, actually go through them. But they actually saved all of the bands. I mean, there's like quite a few of them. That one's got daisies on it. That one's got roses. Glittery. I mean, that's crazy how many bands are in here. Um, they must have, if they changed out all these bands, that one had like flowers on it. This one is just gray, um, blue, polka dot. This one has like roses and I think the other one's just white maybe. Oh no, it's not. It's, um... some bright colors and then cheetah print and the chargers in here I mean so there's three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen bands for a VersaFit, and I mean, that's, I have on a VersaFit, so can't go wrong with $3 worth of bands. I grabbed this, I stuck this in there. This is Body Shop, and it was brand new, so somebody probably got this for Christmas, who knows when, never used. It's the... Fuji green tea. Can't even open it. So I grabbed that. I don't know if it has a year on this or anything. 2016. So probably been sitting around in somebody's basement or whatever since 2016. Never used. I found this little, this was in a bag somewhere, just this little, I don't know if it's a little perfume bottle or what it is. I don't know if that color is flashed on there or if there's something inside the bottle. Ooh, definitely had perfume in it, but it's kind of just a cute little bottle. So I grabbed that. I like this wallet because it was smaller. I like that it had a zipper. I don't know. It was kind of retro looking. Like suede leather brown. I grabbed it for myself. It was small enough. It does say... I want to say it says genuine leather on it somewhere. I don't know. I've seen it on there somewhere because I had Haley read it to me. And it does feel, on this side, it does feel really soft. So, I grabbed that. I can't see where it said that. 
I know it said it on here because I made her read it to me. What does that say? I can't read. Oh, right here. It says it right there. Genuine leather. So, I don't know. It's kind of a little retro looking wallet. I grabbed that. I grabbed these turkey plates. I mean, come on. Is that not a 70s turkey plate or what? They were in great shape. This one does not say anything on the back, but I love the colors. And then this one even had better colors. Like, look at this guy. This one says Brook Park 1521. I mean, this is a big turkey platter. They're both Melmac, but they'd still be great for display. Yeah. So I grabbed both of those. <clears throat> I grabbed Addie. It does work. You can see that it's working. This little play school. Oh, look, it even goes to red. Oh, and green. Oh, my gosh. I wonder what it does when you clip it. Does it, like, strobe? It needs new batteries, but still. I thought when we were camping, you know, she might get a kick out of that. I don't know. But I picked that up. If she doesn't want it all, I will throw it up for sale. Not a problem. I grabbed this clock. I'll have to put some batteries in it to see if it works. Um, the little hands are bent a little bit. But see if we can't get that to work and to run... Oh, run a correct time on it but I thought that was kind of fun looks like a KitchenAid mixer so we'll put some batteries in that guy and make sure he's working okay <clears throat> when you're digging I just grabbed this box and I was like I don't know what's in it but I'm grabbing it, it said Barbie on it eight piece it's actually it was brand new in box. It's the little Barbie camera. And it still has like half the stuff still in. So it's got like the little watch. It's got the pictures. Some of them dumped out onto the floor. But yeah, it's all in here. So grab that. I grabbed Addie Uno Cinderella, put that on the camper. It might be missing a couple cards, but I don't think it's going to be anything too major that we can't play it. A couple other, I don't know, Haley must have threw this in there. Franklin NHL Street Hockey. I don't know. couple more little ornaments. This one is Mark Japan. And then just the little stocking. I did get this. I'm hoping that I can fix the stand on it. It's just like loose. It should like just screw back in there, but I might have to figure that out. But it is signed S-A-S-C-H-A-B. So it is a little mid-century modern little like brass piece and it is numbered 107B. It does have a cool design on it though. So grab that. Of course, how can you go wrong with a creepy joker mask? So this one is does have the Batman sticker in it. Um, DC Comics. It's from 2014. You know, I grabbed these bags because they were like cloth. 
and I thought they were super nice. So I'm just gonna put them away for next year, but just really nice gift bags. And I mean, they don't weigh anything, so. But they're not paper, they're like a cloth paper. So I grab, just grab three of those. <laughs> I, I like these sheets of um, this retro gift wrap paper. So when I seen them, I was just grabbing them because I just like that they're all one sheet. You don't really have to cut them out. And there were some really cute designs on here. So they're just all these. Oh, we got a bunch of kitty cats on it. Just a bunch of retro looking one's got Easter. Look at that orange. Don't you want that in wallpaper? Woo! I like the babies. Those are cute. Grab those. A couple books that I, you know, I mean, they're not, especially books that are what, 59 or 30, I mean, they're, they're not any more than 59 cents a pound. So this one was the Good Housekeeping Creative Embroidery. This is from 1963 and it has all of the embroidery stitches. And I wanna say it is to make like that king and queen there and that stuff there. Just kind of super neat. Needlework and Sewing Center. So I thought that was really fun. And it just shows you how to do all the different stitches, blanket stitch, open chain. It's... And then on the inside, oh, check this out. It has, so that you can stitch the ducks. Look at that. the ducks and then it's got all of the stitches that you would use for the king and the queen it's huge like look at that i don't know if you guys can see that look at that king and queen there i just thought it was so cool i don't want to wreck it so that was quite interesting so i grabbed that I grabbed this instructions for touch and sew deluxe zigzag sewing machine model 758, the Singer sewing machine. I mean, just the pictures on this are so 70s. And this was um, 1970 by the Singer Company. So it's got all the instructions for that. And look at all those cabinets that you can have for your sewing machine. I thought this was kind of fun. Just this little spring into Easter craft page. Um, and it, it still has everything in there to craft the duck, egg shells, egg characters, macrame baskets. Um, yeah. So it has the instructions in here for the all of this stuff still. And this was 1979. See, we are going into Easter. Why not? So grab that. This was just a little table runner. Would just be nice for the Christmas holiday. So I grabbed this guy. He has no tags on it. Somebody might have just made him. But that was a nice little piece. So I grabbed that. I grabbed, I did grab an ink in Epson 410 XL. I am always looking for these guys. I'm always collecting Corningware, Pyrex. So 
This one does say Corningware on it. These are always good to have when you're selling a piece of Corningware or whatever. So I do like to have these, especially for display. <clears throat> I did grab a Cutco Butcher Block, made in the USA. Cutco, those usually sell for decent money. So I grab that guy. This is a really old tin. It does say manufactured by Aristotle Chocolate Company, Boston, St. Louis, USA. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can't clean it up a little bit, but yeah, grab that guy. There's nothing in it. He does open, he's just hard to open. I know Haley got him open once. The inside's pretty decent. So, grab that. A little ceramic doll head. Thought maybe at Halloween she could make the display. I grabbed a couple of these. I was giving them to my mom. Um, I mean, they weighed nothing, so to buy her reading glasses. I gave her a pair already. And then there was some more little embroidery. These ones have little butterflies and flowers on them. So, super cute. Just a deck of Northwest Orient playing cards because they were still, still sealed. So I was going to throw those on the camper. And then I did grab the blanket. I don't know if you guys watched Come With Us to the Bins. But this blanket, I have no idea... Like, there's no tags on it. I want to say it's, like, made to look retro. There's nothing. Nothing on the blanket itself, but it's got that really cool, you can kind of see it better on here, that, like, sunset design on it. Very retro. But I think it's a newer blanket. <laughs> And it's just, it's in great shape. Like, super cool. So I grabbed that. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no tags on it at all. I don't know if somebody made it. Or what? If they made it, they did a wonderful job. They could have made it. I don't know. Maybe. So, I grabbed that. Um, Haley had some items that she took with her already. She just did not have the time to be here. She's trying to go through cosmetology school. So, I think she's trying to pick up her selling to, because she's only working on the weekends, to kind of supplement her income. So, I'm hoping that's what she's doing. So, I will insert... Pictures, I hurried up and snapped pictures of the items that she took from the bins, and I will insert those at the end. But beyond that, we're just going to go in through because that was on, I was at the bins on Wednesday, and then the next day, this there was somebody who just had on Marketplace free, so I went and picked some items that were free. So they had four of these sugar shakers. I've already sold two of them. These other two will be on the live sale tomorrow. That will be on Tuesday the 10th on Mimi's Treasure Cottage. So um, look for those there. Those will be up for sale there. I grabbed those. And then they had, I don't know how many bowls they had. Uh, they were just these white bowls. 
just milk glass bowls. They either had Fire King on them, so I grabbed four of the Fire King. And I grabbed eight that had the Federal mark on them. So just, they were pretty much the same between Fire King and Federal. This one's got more of a stand on the bottom. These ones are just plain. So <clears throat> I grabbed eight of the Federal. They must have had 30 of them. But they did not want to be that person to take them all. So I took four Fire King and eight Federal. Then I grabbed the Corel, um, the Pyrex Pattern Butterfly Gold. I grabbed that one. And then this one's just a simple white platter Corel. So this stuff was free. And then they had a stack. It must have been, I'd say, 50 plus just plain white Corel dinner plates. But I wasn't interested in the plain white one. So they had five of these sitting there. So I just grabbed these five with the little black rim. Black is kind of in right now. So if you had any black tear you wanted to mix in with these, that would be kind of cool. So I just grabbed these five Corel with the black rim dinner plates. So I grabbed that. That was all free. And then I, you know, you always got to pop into Goodwill or whatever when you're floating around. Oh, I grabbed this guy too, but he doesn't work. Uh, so I'm going to have to check all the lights on him. That was at, that was at uh, the bins. So I grabbed... This they had five dollars on. This is a I want to say this is George Briard, and it's in great shape. The tools are here. It's got like a bottle opener. Um, I want to say would that be a pick for like olives or whatever to get out of the jar? Uh, like a little muddling spoon, and then a knife. It does have a chain to hang it, but I don't think this is the original chain but they did put a chain on it. So I think that it's just in great shape. I'm hoping that I can get this because they put tape all the way across. So I'm hoping I'll just probably have to try and not get it soaking wet, but try and get some heat to get that off. Maybe get my blow dryer and try and get that tape off without wrecking anything. So that's kind of fun. I, I really think that's George Briard, but I still have to look that up. I just thought it was really fun. I could just see that with your like retro um, glasses and cutting up some limes and lemons on that. That would be so cool. I grabbed this. Still has a Goodwill sticker on it. I, I like the design on it. I can't find any information on this yet. Um, it does say, it looks like it has a Cal 102 or something on the back of there. I'm not really sure. So, coming to a sale to you new, soon. I grabbed that. And the last thing I grabbed were these, look at these little pigs in this cow. How cute are they? The one does say Japan on the bottom. The other two are not marked, but they're still so super cute. I'm still thinking that there's crazy on all of them. So I'm thinking they are all Japan little, little pigs and a cow. Could you just not see little air plants in there sitting on your little windowsill in your kitchen or something? Those are so super cute. All right. So with that being said, this is everything that I have picked up this week, especially the... I. I think we spent $40 at the bins, so I will insert Haley's photos of the items that she took with her. Like I said, I just took a bunch of photos real quick. And that's it from Lynn from Haylin Vintage. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, you guys, for helping my channel grow. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, don't forget to look out for Retro Cooking Wednesdays. We are still doing some Weight Watcher stuff. Give any suggestions that you would want. Don't forget to look for me on Mimi's Treasure Cottage. 
that is Tuesday night, this Tuesday, like tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get this video up now and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone. Have a great night. Stay retro, my friends. Bye.